Right, I'm absolutely, absolutely disgusted by what happened today. And you need to hear this as a warning, right? I've averted disaster by the skin of my teeth. Took my girlfriend out today. She wants to go to the Trinity Garden Party. It's this big music venue in Bristol. Um, she's PMT in. So I'm thinking on the way there, just don't get annoyed by anything. Just be nice to her. You've got to handle them like dynamite because there's no bloody sanity there when they're PMT in. Um, so that's my frame of mind. We get there, we're walking around. I'm just smiling at everyone. Even though there's bloody tie dice, like a hippie explosion in there. Like, one in three people wore white and had dreadlocks. One bloody little ginger bloke had dreadlocks just scuttling around like he's a normal person or something. Still, I'm not reacting, just smiling. In the garden, there's this bloody thick fog of cannibaloid smoke everywhere. Apparently it's legal to smoke your weeds in public now. Still, I'm not moaning. Anyway, she goes to speak to one of her friends and I thought, I'll go have a look in the garden, you know, just have a little wander around. Um, and this bloke, as I'm walking past him, he stops me and says, oh mate, do you want to try one of my special homemade truffles? I was like, yeah, all right then, why not? You know, I'd have some jerk chicken earlier, thinking it'd be a nice dessert and stuff. And I was also thinking in my mind, this is what you get for being nice to them. They're being nice to you now. Um, so I took one, I bit it into it, I just spit it out. It tasted like mushrooms. And the guy's looking at me, he's like, oh, what's up, mate? Did that not agree with you? I said to him, oh, I'm sorry, man, but I, just, I, can't I can't eat that. It tastes like a mushroom. And he looks at me like I'm going mad. He goes, well, that's kind of the point, isn't it, man? I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? He's like, I said, I'm sorry, I haven't had truffles like... I don't really eat them normally. Is it normal you put vegetables in them? Like mushrooms especially, they're like fungus. I can't imagine that goes. And he goes, mate, they're magic mushrooms. I literally, I almost knocked him out. You've given me drugs, illegal, illicit drugs without telling me. You've offered me a truffle and in it is a psychedelic drug. And he just shakes his head and wanders off. That's all I could do not to wander after him and just knock his block off, I tell you. But like, anything could have bloody happened. <coughs> cough when I get angry. Anything could have happened. I don't know the effects of bloody magic shrooms. I could have been tripping my bloody nut off and not knowing about it. And what's his bloody motive? He could have been wandering around after me, waiting until I was vulnerable to have his way with me or something. You've got to be warned. People are disgraceful. This is what you get for being kind. Always be on your guard. Do not eat or drink anything unless you know where it's come from. I went to this bloody course today, communicating in a bloody the service users in a bloody modern world. I've walked out halfway through. I'm not chowing down on that crap sandwich any longer. I do not care if I lose my job over this. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Telling me how I can sit. Oh, legs together, pancaking my bloody testicles. So I feel faintly nauseous all the time. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Honestly, it is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I'm a man, there's nothing wrong with that. I've got a bloody meat and two veg, I've got a package between my legs, it's fine. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That's a woman, she's got a bloody lady garden and dirty pillows. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, granted, it can be difficult to tell now with the bloody little emo smurfs and stuff, but they'll tell you, just ask them what they identify with. Otherwise, everyone's gonna be a bloody it, just to please an obnoxious few people who are too ugly to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's where it all comes from, I tell you. She had a face like a monkey's ass. Her mouth was the anus farting out his dirty, obnoxious views into the world that the rest of us just have to chow down on. Well, I'm not gonna be that man anymore. I'm not gonna eat that shit sandwich any longer. Madness, you've got no idea what it's like out in the real world. But I'm working with 80 year old and 90 year old men and women. Don't call it gender neutral language. They want to be called pet and love and stuff. It makes their bloody day. You've got no idea what goes on in the real world. Sitting there when your bourgeoisie, pen pushing, cushy roll. Shit goes down in my job, literally. You, feminist bent, could not handle it. I'm not naming any names before you start getting on bloody litigious, but you know who you are and you can kiss my hairy ass. I do not care if I lose my job, it is worth it just not to eat this crap anymore. Idiot. And welcome to Callum Scone. I have had one of the worst customer service experiences of my whole bloody life today and you're getting named and shamed. You give me poor service, I will name and I will shame you. I was on the bus today, the Arriva buses, right? Had my nephew, Eddie, for the day today. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to take him out for the day, give him a nice day. Uh, I decided to go over to Buckle Church area. There's some steam trains there. And I thought, he's getting a bit older now. He's nine months old. It's time for him to, you know, experience the magnificence of a steam train in motion. So, caught the bus over there. I had to change halfway through. Uh, first bus was fine. Second bus was late. Absolutely peeing down on me and Eddie. Neither of us were happy. Anyway, bus finally arrived. 
woman got on in front of me. Um, she ordered a bloody ticket and stuff, and she said, I'm sorry, I've only got a £20 note. Uh, this bus driver's face was a sight to behold. It was a mixture of like bewilderment and rage, all cursing through it. Honestly, you would have thought that she pulled down her trousers and kind of sharted in his face or something. She's just giving you the bloody legal tender, mate. Get over it. Anyway, he's spluttering and humming and hiring about it all the time. Me and Eddie are outside and we're not getting any drier, put it that way. So I'm pretty annoyed by the time I get on the bus. Get Start getting a buggy up there, get it on there. And he goes, nope, sorry, you cannot bring the buggy on here. I already have one buggy. That is the legal limit. Oh, Jesus, honestly. So I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'm not getting off at this point, you know, it's peeing down out there. So I'll push the buggy further on. Look around there, I said, you would have got one buggy there, mate. There's plenty of room on there. He said, no, I'm only licensed to carry one, one wheeled vehicle upon this vehicle. Jesus Christ. Honestly, I've, I've just been on the bus and uh, there were two buggies on there. Exactly the same bus company. I've, I've been on buses for years, unfortunately. And there are always at least two buggies on everybody bus, normally with a kid screaming, this is a well-behaved child, you know, it's going to be fine. And he said, no, that's not my problem. My, uh, my license allows me to carry one buggy. And then, right, at this point, the woman who's already sitting there, she gets up sitting there with her buggy gets up and comes over to me says oh there's loads of room there really nice lady loads of room there you know um, i wouldn't even have to move my buggy there's plenty of room for him to come alongside me there he said no that is not the point it is not about room it is about the legal licensed amount of buggies that i am allowed to carry oh, for christ's sake this is the last thing i need to deal with dripping wet you know what i mean out in the middle of the bloody nowhere I, I, I'm arguing with him. I'm not having it. I'm saying, look, mate, I, it's, it's ridiculous. I've never heard that rule. Where does it say that on the bus here? And he says, it's not my problem. He keeps going aggressively now. It's not my problem. I said, well, it is your bloody problem because I'm standing here and I'm not going anywhere. So it is your bloody problem because I'm a customer here trying to give you money to get on your bloody bus. Well, I wasn't giving him money. I already had a ticket, a day rider. But that's not the point. Anyway, so, and he's just not backing down on it. He says, no, I can only carry on. So what about if I bring the buggy on his carry-on? Do you know what I mean? Like, take, bloody collapse it and stuff, and I'll take the baby out of it. And that, apparently, he'll allow. He'll allow. But absolutely, it's ridiculous. His face was irritating me the whole time through. He's a fat, tubby little job's worth. His face looked like a Mr. Potato Head that had the features stuck on where someone wasn't paying attention. Do you know what I mean? Just cursory glance at what they're picking out. Nothing's really matching. All a bit disquieting. Disgusting. So that's what I had to do. I had to take the baby out, little Eddie, holding him, trying to collapse the buggy. It took the bloody ages. And he's complaining about it the whole time. I've really got to be going now. I said, look, you're going to wait, aren't you? This is on you, this is. I could just push this buggy on. He's humming and whoring about it. I said, it's going to take as long as it takes, mate. So who won at the end of the day? I won because I got on the bus. You lost because you made yourself late. And I won because I went to see magnificent steam trains. But you, Steve, you fat, tubby little jobs worth should be sacked because you're a pathetic little idiot. Hey, right, that's at my system now. I've got its corner. I'm filled, filled to the brim with rage today. I've been triggered the last couple of days. I haven't uploaded because everyone always has a go at me. Or you just moan, Callum. You just rant all the time. Well, it's my bloody corner and I need a rant. So I'm going to, right? Right, number one. My sister, my sister, Amy, the bloody slutty little spasmoid, is here because she's ill. She came over the day before yesterday because she's got the gastric flu. Brilliant. She doesn't want to give it to her kids or her husband, so she's come over here to give it to me. Lovely. Right, she's here and staying, and now she's giving the flu to my mum. So, literally, upstairs to the bathroom and back, it is like a bloody motorway in there. I had to wait nearly an hour to go and do my business this morning, just sitting there and sweating, needing my poo. Unbelievable. It is like shit city in this house. And do you know who's cleaning the bloody streets? Me. Every five minutes it's coming down. Callum, Callum, I need this, I need that. Oh, can you open the window? Just shut up. I've had enough of it. Oh, it's driving me mad and I'm at home all bloody day long because the feminist bin is responsible for me losing my job. And do you know what happens all bloody day long? Do you know what happens every single day? Cold coolers, that's what happens. 13 of them today have phoned my home phone line. It makes me sick. Oh, we need to speak to you about your car crash you had. Me. I've never had a car crash. Oh, can we speak to Mr. Adams? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to speak to you about your PPI. I've never had a loan. Oh, they are arse-dwelling scum, that bunch. I tell you, if you that is your job, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are scummier than BG bloody media, right? And then finally today, it's tipped me over the edge. Right, I finally, I think I've got a piece of peace and quiet to myself. I sit down with my dinner and bang, 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 bang. 
front door, go and open it, and it is a bloody Tory canvasser pumping out their disgusting little semen into the atmosphere. Oh, swallow this down, drink this down and be a Tory. No bloody way. Do I look like I'm an idiot? Do I look like I'm going to vote that way? And I very say, I explained to him, I'm a Labour man, you've got no chance here. And he starts talking at me again, trying to persuade me. And I stop him and I explain why I'm not going to vote Tory, because basically I'm not a dickhead. And again, he starts going on about Brexit and how only Theresa May can be trusted. And he ends his little sales pitch with, uh, what was it he said? Oh, you got to remember the last uh, bloody female Tory Prime Minister didn't do too badly. Are you having a laugh? Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher didn't do too badly. Oh, Hillsborough. Oh, the bloody coal miners. Oh, bloody poll tax. Didn't do too badly. Margaret Thatcher. Jesus, she's like Hitler. She was evil. She was absolutely evil. She was a, a poofy head, weasel faced, anal dweller. Margaret Thatcher didn't do too badly, my arse. I was absolutely humiliated yesterday at the Isle of Wight Festival, out there vlogging. I've got my cousin filming me, right? I'm going to go next to this big poster announcing the lineup and stuff so I can like, film a seamless little segment into something, right? And there's a couple of fat little fishwives standing next to me, glaring at me as I'm bloody filming, right? Soon as I've finished, one of them marches, marches, scuttles up to me. Bloody cob on about it, asking why I was filming, uh, uh, insinuating that I was trying to get her in the shot or something, which basically the insinuation is that I'm some kind of fapping, faff, 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 perverted little bloody spank bank monkey or something. Really? Do me a favour, how much do you rate yourself? She was standing there bloody over enthusiastically stuffing a bloody tuna melt into her mouth, deep throating this thing. That's the kind of footage that I want to take back to my tent with me in it. Oh, do me a favour. And she's going on at me about it. Maybe get my camera back out and show her, show her what I've recorded. My private bloody footage of me talking and stuff. I just stand there and show it to her. She looks at it. And she's mad because there's a tiny little blur of her in there. It's probably a bloody arse. It's like a super-sized Satsuma. I wonder it's in bloody shot. I don't want it in there. You got a problem with it? Just take a bloody step to the right. Your arse will be in a bloody different time zone. Problem solved. Ridiculous. She looked like a bloody weeble. Honestly, massive Satsuma arse and a couple of bloody stubby little legs stuck in the bottom as a token gesture. How dare you bloody review my footage? Honestly, a disgusting, absolutely revolting person delete my bloody video. I've got to go film it again later today, all because of her. I tell you what, I hope she enjoyed that bloody tuna melt, because that is the only bloody meat she's going to get this festival, if you know what I mean. And you do know what I mean. And I hope she sees this, and she knows what I bloody mean. Everyone keeps asking me if I've got pink eye as well. I've Googled it. It's disgusting. If I've been pink eyed, I'm going to be absolutely fuming to walk down and get myself some bloody eye drops today. I'm going to try and calm down and get back out there and enjoy the festival. My vlog done.